and police catch a drunken dad fleeing a shooting, but it's his choice of getaway driver that has him in even more trouble. Happy Easter, everyone. I'm Alex Goldsmith. He won't be winning Father of the Year anytime soon. Police say this man got his 13-year-old to drive him to the store for beer, shot at a stranger before running again. News 13's Chris McKee is live at San Mateo near Candelaria with how officers were able to catch him so quickly. Chris? Yeah, Alex, APD had loads of officers set up right here in front of this gas station for a DWI checkpoint last night. But just before midnight, they all took cover. That's because bullets went flying. Police say a drunk dad was behind it. We're very fortunate that nobody got hurt. Police say it was anything but peaceful for this northeast neighborhood the night before Easter. Totally irresponsible of this individual. And neighbors agree. It's crazy. It's disgusting. And it definitely is like out of line. 33 year old Sergio Barrientos Sr. is now facing child abuse and weapons charges after shooting at a stranger right next to his teen son and dozens of officers. We had about 30 to 40 officers over here. Lights, sirens, cones, everything you need to be involved in a DBI checkpoint. Just before midnight last night, police heard seven to eight pops from this gas station parking lot. Well, the officers immediately thought that they were getting shot at. Uh, they took cover immediately and then saw the vehicles speed away, and they knew that vehicle had something to do with the gunshots. Neighbors saw Barrientos get arrested on their street about a block from the gas station. Within 15 seconds, the cops came speeding down the road with their sirens on. But Barrientos wasn't driving. His 13-year-old son was. The teen told APD his dad had him drive to the gas station for more booze. Police say he had no idea what he was getting into. The 13-year-old looked completely shell-shocked at that moment. Police say Barrientos argued his arrest. He began hurling racial slurs and F the police at the police department. They say he also tried to toss the gun to a nearby home. He told us you'll never find the gun. Well, about two minutes later, we did find that gun up the street in front of somebody's yard who has children. No one was hurt, but police say this all could have easily ended in tragedy. This could be a whole different call. We could still be here conducting a homicide investigation. Now, police say the 13-year-old involved in this case isn't being charged because he wasn't in on the fights or the shooting. It was actually just shocked that everything was going on and fearful for his own life. Barrianto Sr. should be arraigned in court tomorrow morning. Alex, back to you. All right, Chris, thank you very much. Barrientos has a minimal criminal history here in New Mexico. Online court records show just one arrest for assault, and those charges ended up being dropped.